Hey Sagittarius, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back, my love. If you're part of our family, I hope you're doing really, really well, Sag. Um, today it is Saturday. It's the 30th of March, 2024. We've got today and tomorrow, and then we're in April. Um, I wanted to tap in just to see what might be going on this weekend. Um, it is Easter tomorrow. If you celebrate, if you do, I am sending you so much love. Well, sending you all love, but I'm sending you love, and I hope it's a peaceful weekend, peaceful time for you. Um, Okay, so if you'd like a private reading, let's just go through the, the formalities. If you'd like a private reading from myself, um, that information is down below. Um, this is a general reading, so of course it's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, so only take what flows. And although I am doing it on this day, it is timeless. So um, this could be something that's already happened. Um, could be something that is happening or will happen in the future, right? Um, you know, timeless because it is the divine energy. All right, Sag. Um, Thank you so much for all of your beautiful love and your support. You mean the world to me. Uh, you just brighten each and every single one of my days, and I am so thankful and grateful for you. Um, that is from my heart. When I, and I, I know I'm sounding a little weird because when I was meditating on your energy, um, and I'm thinking this probably is not going to be for everyone, Well, and we'll see what comes out, but I seen a cat, C-A-T, cat, kitty cat. Um, not really a color. I don't know how to explain it, um, you know, and I'm not going to waste your time, just how it works for me when I'm meditating. Uh, and so what came to me was intuition, right? That the cats are obviously very, very intuitive. Um, you know, they can sense energy very, very beautifully. But there was a little bit of a heaviness I was feeling with it. So, uh, you know, I don't know what this is, but again, I feel like if this is your reading, I'm going to say it right from right now because I don't know what's going to come out of the cards. Um, if you've been feeling a little bit of something not feeling completely right, your int intuition is talking to you, I feel like you need to trust whatever is coming through, okay? I don't know why I'm saying that. I mean, when I prepped all the decks, um, you know, there were a few cards that were coming out. We did have some of the little bit lower vibrational cards, um, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, but again, nevertheless, trust your intuition always, Sag. It'll never lead you wrong, right? Um, it, it is our inner guidance system um, that we all have, and it's connected to us, our source, right? So trust that. Okay, Sag, we're going to get into this because I need to get this energy out. I can feel it. Um, so let's get started. We're going to open with my Divine Animal deck. Now, there is a cat card in here that is about intuition. We'll see if that comes out. All right, Spirit, thank you so much for guiding me in this reading for Sagittarius. What is the message you have for those that this is their reading? Let's see what's on the bottom. Okay. We have the um, tarantula. This is about connection. Um, it is number, my light's glaring at me, it's number 13, so it is four. Fours are about a, for me, solidness. Um, something that you can rely on. Um, like the table, you can put a lot of things on this table, it won't break, right? It's something about solidarity, f solid foundation. Now the tarantula, you know it is a spider. Um, it, it, it is venomous, but you know, often it doesn't strike unless you attack it. There's some message like that coming towards me. And I don't have tarantulas where I live. Um, but this is about connection. So, okay, so maybe there's something going on with a connection that you have. We have the red crowned crane, loyalty next. Number 29, so that is 11, which is a two. Twos are about relationships, partnerships for me, or, and, choice. Hmm. Some of you may be questioning the loyalty of someone around you, of some connection you have. We'll see. We'll see how, uh, as we go. Um, the crane is actually carrying the woman above the mountains. So, you know, it is suggesting here that you can trust the energy, but at the same time, it also can be, you know, the opposite as well. We have the gorilla next. Peace. Okay, beautiful. This is number one, so it is a magician energy. Again, though, what are they giving me here already off the top? So, you know, gorillas, they're massive, they're big, they're strong, they could tear us apart very quickly. But in this deck, it's representing peace. He has his, um, his, his um, shield and he has his sword, let's say that, because um, you can't really quite detect what this weapon is. But he's not using either of them. But there's a mask on the side as well. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Can you see that mask right beside? Let me hold it with my right hand. Come a little closer. Right here. There's a mask right there. Okay. And then we have the Peregrine Falcon Observation. Number 27. Oh, shit. Okay. Number 27, that's um, contemplative energy. Can be about luck, but in this reading right here, it's feeling about contemplation. Observing. Observing someone's patterns. Observing someone's words. 
Hmm, okay. And then we do have oh, the Lynx Secrets. Okay, it's number two, Sag. All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, we'll get into this and we'll see what it's about. The next card is we have, and I normally don't go any more than six, we do have the Sacred Abyss, which is learning. Mm -hmm. And then we have that beautiful horse after that, but they're not guiding me to that. Um, Sacred Abyss is about learning. Now it's 22, so it is a four, but it is also two, two, right? We've got two, two, two here. Um, you may be finding out something. i got to just give it to you right off the top. You may be finding out something um, that you might have already suspected. I, it doesn't feel 100% great to me right now. I can't lie about this stuff. It doesn't feel great. So let's see. Let's see what this is about, Saggy. All right, Spirit, show me clearly, please, for Sagittarius. For those that this is their reading, what's going on here? What's going on? What's happening for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. I'm going to reposition myself on this chair. It's kind of rolling around here. What's going on for Sagittarius? Beautiful Sagittarius. Okay, the deck is really quiet right now. Hmm. Hmm. This is very interesting here. Not one card's coming out. All right, Spirit, let's reground. Let's reground. It's on the bottom. Ah, oh, we got the tarantula again. And then we have the snow leopard, the watcher. Okay, wolf. Let's see. Let's see. I was guided to this deck, so. And if you're new here, I don't pull cards. I let Spirit get that because I don't want to influence the reading, so. Okay. We got two here that's showing up. All right. All right, we have the red fox strategy on the bottom. Let's take that. We have the gorilla showing up again. Oh, okay, and the bull, which is about sacrifice. Okay. And then we have the red fox, as I said. This is strategy. Now, this is number, it's hard to see, number three, Sag. When you come to this reading, there's you probably already know something that's going on. There's going to be a need for you to make some kind of plan. Um... The gorilla, as I, we talked about, this is about peace, right? So we're going to have to see when we get into the tarot, right? Because I don't want to like offshoot here. I, I do have a little bit of a heavier feeling in me. But again, um, I do feel with the gorilla, spirit is saying, if there's something that's coming up, or if there's something that you're finding out, a secret, um, someone says something, shares something with you, um, they are indicating here that you're going to remain quite peaceful, Sag. You know, you're a beautiful you have a beautiful heart. You're very, very strong. Um, or they're at least guiding you to remain peaceful, remain calm. Because the bull's showing up here, and that is all about sacrifice. Now, I do feel this would probably be talking about the sacrifices you've made. It's number 40 again, so there's that four again. Um, you know, you probably have gone through a lot. I feel like this is about some connection. You know, you know they gave it to us with that tarantula. Um You've made a lot of sacrifice. There's something that feels like a storm is brewing. Obviously, on the back of this card, there's tons of lightning going on, right? And it almost is feeling like there's there's a need for you to get very strategic here. There's a need for you to make a plan. Just like a fox, right? They are quite crafty um, in maneuvering, getting food. You know, they 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 hide quite well, but they're very very intelligent. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to say any more. Let's get into the um, tarot and see what this is about. All right, let's open up with just the traditional tarot. Let's see what this is about. We have the two of wands on the bottom, Sag. So this is our fire element, is yours, right? Aries and Leo. Two of wands is about a decision that is needed. There's contemplation going on here. But again, you're not making, there's no choice that has been made yet. Now, in this card, he is holding the world, the world card. Um, you know, in the way that they're giving it to me, it's like you're con oh, this is okay. It's like you may be contemplating ending something so that something new can start. Because the world in the tarot is the last major arcana, and that's what it usually represents, right? One cycle closing out so a new cycle can open. Sometimes it can mean you'll be on top of the world. Um, hmm, okay. So the two of wands, it is followed by the knight of wands. Again, the fire energy here coming through. 
Usually I like this energy, but in this case, I'm feeling this is representing someone doing whatever they, whatever the hell they please is what I'm hearing. They're doing whatever the hell they please and they're not really thinking perhaps about you or other people involved. It's followed by the five of, uh, five of Pentacles. Earth element. So now this is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. It is our pentacles. It's the thing we taste, touch, feel. It's our self-esteem. It's our money. All of those things. Five of pentacles is... See, that's what I'm feeling here. Uh, you know, the traditional way of saying it is like left out in the cold. You know, it's poverty. It's lack. Um, can be abandonment, right? The fact that this is here and the Knight of Wands is going that way and these people are going that way. And this feels like two separate parties, two separate people. The Hierophant is next. Taurus is card Sag. The Hierophant is all about tradition, right? It's wisdom, intelligence, a knowing. But it can represent a marriage, right? It can represent contracts. I want to look one more. Uh, then we have the Eight of Swords. Our air element now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is everything that goes on in our mind. It also is our communication feeling stuck and the moon Pisces card something's hidden Sag okay then we even have the four of pentacles after that you know four of pentacles is it, can, it used to be called the miser card but it also is like holding holding back okay we got to get into this what is this about if this is making sense, Sag, and this is resonating with you, just know that you'll be guided out of this. And um, it's not. this is not going to last. That's why they're giving you the red fox to start making strategic plans, to start planning. Um, because even if you look at this card, it's quite dark where the woman is standing with her red umbrella. But up above, there's light. There's the light. The, the, there's the sky. It reminds me of the death card in my Lightseer's deck. Um, like you're make, you'll make it out of it. You're going to make it out of whatever this is. <clears throat> okay. This could be about a relationship, like a romantic relationship. Could be family as well. Family, friends, um, co-workers. Could be work-wise too. They're kind of giving it like that to me. Okay, Spirit, show me what this is about, please, for Sagittarius. Thank you for guiding me in this reading. What's going on for Sagittarius? What's happening for Sagittarius? What would you like Sagittarius to know? The deck is very... So when the decks get quiet like this, it kind of makes me feel like there's a hesitancy. So, hmm. What is this? Okay, thank you. The Knight of Swords. But it flew out in reverse. So Knight of Swords upright is going after what you want, right? Quite, like, without any doubt. Like, okay, I know what I want and I'm heading, I'm heading towards it. But it flew out in reverse. Which feels that like there's something like a, again, there's like, um, what's this word you're giving me? Stonewall. Stonewall? What does that mean? Stonewall. Stonewall. A stonewall? I don't know what that means, Sag. Spirit, I don't know what that means. A stonewall. Being stonewalled? What does that mean? Stonewalled. Stonewalled. I don't know what that means, Sag. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I, I don't know what that means. Stonewalled. And I'm in, I'm in channel mode, so I can't even, my logic is the very back of my head. I'm not relying on that. Um, I don't know what that means. Like a, a wall made out of stones? Ah, something stopping you from moving forward. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Interesting. Because Three of Pentacles is collaboration. Things coming together. You, two other people. You with two other thoughts, ideas. Let's keep going. Show me more. What is this about for Sagittarius? Again, the deck just feels really hesitant. Please show me clearly what this message is for Sagittarius. Hmm. This is wild. Right. The tower where I stopped. Tower, the King of Swords, 
the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, okay, let's just talk about this for a second. Nine of Wands. Okay, just gonna move that up here. Yeah, Sag, this feels like there's something to do with your family, with a relationship. It could be about your career, your work, or something because the Ten of Pentacles is here, and Pentacles is, you know, our resources. But also the Ten of Pentacles is about usually a family, right? Family, home, children, whatever. There's dogs here, there's kids here. Um, and with that Nine of Wands, it feels like there's been there's been a very, very tough... You've gone through a lot. You've made a lot of sacrifices. There's been a lot of pain you've gone through. You're still standing. You've still been fighting for something here. Um, but it feels like that is not the way it's... it's That's not the way it's going, Sag. Because we have the King of Swords. King of Swords for me is... Well, you know, again, this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is more of an authoritative uh, figure. Um, someone that is either, like, very quite icy, you know, um, could represent a lawyer, an attorney, a judge. Um, if not, it could represent someone. Again, um, I'm feeling right now you might be dealing with an air sign. Doesn't have to be, but they're just giving it to me like that. That you're, you could be dealing with someone that's quite cold. Um, and quite just determined to do what they want to do, regardless of how it makes you feel. Um, because the tower is coming in, which is feels like a pretty big shakeup. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going to come out. Okay, Queen of Wands. Yeah, the Five of, of Pentacles. Here you are. Feminine side, right? But we all have masculine and feminine side. Here you are. There's that Five of Pentacles again. Someone trying to cut you out of something. Someone's trying to... Yeah, that's what it feels like. Someone's either has got secrets, maybe they're not loyal, could be a co-worker, because they are giving that a little bit to me too. But they're trying to block you. That's why you really got to make a plan, Sag. Okay, Spirit, what is this? Show me more, please. I don't feel like we want me to change decks yet. The King of Swords just flew out. So, and then we have the Four of Cups on the bottom. <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the energy of um, maybe feeling, again, stuck, like it goes with that Eight of Swords. It's that, oh, nothing's moving, nothing's changing. It's the same, same, same thing. Um, it's dissatisfaction. Show, show me more, please, Spirit. Let's get another couple of cards. What else can you show me? Okay, deck going nuts. Ah! Okay, well, let's go three times. If you want me to move on, I'll move on. One... Oh, this is crazy. Okay, what is happening? Sag, this deck is going insane. Okay, two of wands is showing up again, but we have the devil on the bottom. Okay. Could be someone at work, Sag, because we've got the eight of pentacles. But it also could be someone trying to keep you in their grasp. What do I mean by that? I mean, like, if you're in a relationship and someone's doing something... Um, low vibration to you um, they may be really trying to keep you in their grasp to keep the control to stay in power the devil is a quite a toxic card usually it's Capricorn's card you know it is it's about the restrictions it's about control and that's what I'm getting here I feel like someone in your life Sag and I don't know who it is they're not giving it to me there's someone around in your life that wants control over you and I, but yet I feel like they have done something shady um, See if the Seven of Swords shows up anywhere. The fact that the devil has shown up, though, it's almost like someone wants to be able... Okay, what... And I never understood this, state, uh, this uh, comment, um, this, under, uh, this statement or whatever it is. Spirit just gave it to me, though. Like, they want their cake and they want to eat it, too. I mean, in my mind, that doesn't make sense because I'm like, well, if I have a cake, I'm going to eat it, right? So I don't understand that. But um, hopefully you get the gist here. Huh. But that devil showing up. Okay, let's see. Eight, okay, two, of, yeah, two, and the, the hangman. Okay, so there's going to be a change of perspective. Um, something's going to change. Let's just move into my light series deck. Okay, we got the nine of swords on the bottom. So this is either causing you, could be causing the other person, a lot of anxiety. You know, nine of swords is like not being able to sleep at night. You know, it's that three in the morning where all the boogeyman's come out from underneath the bed and you are worried about every single thing. It's high anxiety, <coughs> okay? Followed by the Four of Wands, my second marriage card here. You know, this could be definitely about a relationship that is, you know, um, not healthy. There's been too much sacrifice. 
Perhaps there hasn't even been peace, and that's why the gorilla is showing up to say, you need to make some choices here, Saggy, for your well-being, for your highest good. The emperor next. Okay, beautiful. It's Aries card, but at the same time, I'm almost feeling... Again, for some reason, they're giving, they're, they're guiding me to keep looking at this devil. They're giving it to me like the emperor. Again, someone wants to be in control. Eight of Pentacles, once again. Okay. Ace of Cups. An offering of love. Five of Wands. Okay, let's see. Show me more, please, Spirit, what this is about for Sagittarius. For those that this is their reading. Crazy how the decks are deck is are feeling wild to me today. Show me more, please, spirit. Wow. Hmm. Nothing, Sag, nothing's coming out. Okay, something just flipped. Oh, the five of swords. Okay. Whatever this is, this is causing some mental confusion but it's also like hurting your head hurting your head this is your reading i'm going to read it that way it's causing anguish it's like you just probably have the worst headache or you you know you just can't think clearly and again the four of wands is on the bottom the emperor again what is this about what is this about we have all swords here Will you show me more, please? It's strange. This is really strange because um, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like it just feels like the deck is super quiet. Please show me clearly what the message is. Show me more of what's going on for Sagittarius, please. Makes sense why the strategy card is here because this is all air. Okay. The Hierophant now is on the bottom. So the Hierophant, Taurus's card, followed by the Sun, beautiful, followed by Justice, three major arcana, followed by the Queen of Wands, again. Sag, I'm just going to be very honest here. I definitely feel like this would be more of a romantic relationship, although it may not be, but that's the energy they're giving it to me. I feel like you probably have put a lot of sacrifice. You've given up a lot. You've had to deal with a lot. You haven't had much peace. The other person, I'll just put it this way, the other person involved here, I think that they're quite more selfish, um, self-centered. <coughs> um, and I think you've had enough of it. That's why the two of wands started, but you just aren't sure what to do. With the Hierophant, again, you know, this is tradition, right? This can be the marriage card, followed by the sun, but this is also wisdom. Wisdom. Followed by the sun, which it, for me, this especially in this deck, is really feels free, like I'm free, and I can feel the warmth again in my life, and I can feel the happiness and the joy. And the Justice card, well, Libra's card showing up here, Leo's card, and Taurus's. It's going to work in your favor, whatever this may be. It probably does not feel like that at this moment. At this moment, I don't think it does. But Spirit is saying that this is the time to start making a plan. Eight of Wands, you know, this is a fast forward movement. You know, again, Aries, you, Aries Leo, and you. Um, something coming in very quickly. Perhaps this could be talking about that, the secret card, because they're showing that to me again. Something being um, illuminated, and you know it's it hurts, it hurts, and you're exhausted again. Though I don't feel like this would be something new. This would be something that you've already suspected. Um, you know we haven't had the three of swords or seven of swords come out here, but there's something that you are finding out. I feel, and you're going to need to take some time to rest, recoup. But then you get back into the driver's seat of your life, the chariot, cancer's card. These four major, four major arcanas here, this is a big deal. Um, and you start to head in a different way. That's why they're saying there's a plan you need to make. You need to make some kind of plan. You may need to reach out to someone that can help you. You know, a mediator, a counselor, a, uh, an attorney. You know, I don't know. I don't know what your circumstances are. It's weird because I'm feeling like a little bit... Um, then it's not my energy. Uh, there's a little bit of a panic feeling. Um, so take a deep breath. Whenever things start to feel out of control and you can't see clearly, Lord knows I've been there a million and one times in my life. Try to just slow down for a couple of minutes and just breathe, close your eyes. Tell your body that it's all going to be okay because it is. Um, 
but there's something here, man. There's something here. I want to go back to this deck. Uh, the Knight of Cups, the King of Wands, your energy, the world. Okay, thank you, Spirit. And whoever this may be, I would say that they probably will try to win you back, keep you, you know. Um, but you're not going to let that happen because look at this. This is bloody amazing. We got the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Wands. So Queen and King pair. Again, this can be your yin and yang, right? Um, the Knight of Cups, I just feel like there's no way. Like this person, it feels manipulative. It feels like, hey, you know, can I have a second chance? Um, that's what it's feeling like, Satch. And I'm feeling like there's like just no damn way. There's no way. And even to go further, you have the world card, which is the ending. That being done, closing out so that a new one can begin, a new life can begin. Wow, the strength card, the three of cups, the king of swords. Let's go back to the traditional tarot and see if there's anything that wants to come out of here. But that's what I feel, Sag. I want to tell you that you, you will make it through this. You're going to make it through the other side. You're going to have your grace. You're going to keep your grace. You're going to be peaceful. You're going to find peace. That's what I need to say. Thank you, Spirit. You're going to be at peace again. But definitely there's someone in your mix. I don't know who, where, what. They feel a little bit more romantic marriage kind of wise. Let's see. But with justice, the sun and the hierophant showing up here. And that image I had of that cat. It's going to be all right. Is there anything else you can tell us? Spirit, that you would like Sagittarius to know that you can guide Sagittarius on here. Anything else? It's so strange. The hangman, yes. Oh my gosh. The hangman. Sag, however it looks right now, everything's going to look completely different very soon for you. You know, there's everything's going to fold, unfold for you so that your life is going to look different. You're going to see things from a different point of view. We do have the death card on the bottom. So Scorpio's energy, and this is all about death, rebirth. I mean, you know, there's literally people lying on the ground dead here. Well, figuratively, but in the image. Seven of Wands, defending yourself, protecting yourself, nurturing yourself. Let's go one more time. Is there anything else for Sagittarius? It's weird. I'm starting to feel a little nauseous. Oh, that's strange. Not my energy. I feel a little nauseous, Sag. So I'm picking up on someone's energy there. We have the magician where I stopped. You are a powerful manifester. You can create the outcome. And in this case, it does feel you will be received. You'll be free and you'll be able to, you know, um, move on from this. Anything else, please, spirit? It's really weird, that nauseous stuff. That just felt really ick. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go three times. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got what do we have here? We have the Eight of Pentacles again. We have the Eight of Pentacles again. The devil is peeking out once again here. It's going to take a little bit of effort, a little bit of work. That's the strategic part. That's why you got to put a plan in motion. But the Wheel of Fortune will move for you. Anything else, Spirit? I'm going to go one more time here. One more time. And one more time. Thank you. Yeah, Five of Swords. Someone wants to win. Someone wants... I don't know. Someone's doing some sneaky game here, Sag. This is a uh, mind games. They're playing mind games. Yeah, holy fuck. Three of swords that's why i kept one one and i felt like nope they were like go again go again oh so someone has betrayed you someone has done something that is not good so sag it's time to make a it's time to make a decision it's time to make a plan take your time get some help with if someone around you can help you through this damn yeah yep so the five of swords needs to be closed out. I'm sending you so much love and so much strength.
because I know I can feel it, that nauseousness that hit me, whew, that does not ha happen very often when I do readings, but holy shit, it hit me. Um, oh, sweetheart, you don't deserve this. There's going to be something so much better for you. Again, this could be about career or something like that, but the way that they're hitting it with me, this feels quite devastating. But you know you are going to get back up and you are going to find your peace. And you're also going to be freed. <sighs> okay, Saggy. I want to go to Moonology Messages because th that deck is a, it's a beautiful one because it can, give, it can often give some good advice. Let's see what spirit has for you on that. You've made too much sacrifice. It's time for someone else. It's time to, to leave this. I would suggest you have free will, of course. But they're stopping your stride. Sag, on the bottom, we have shadow work. Night moon. So shadow work is talking about working through this, you know, working through this, healing yourself. Blood moon is the courage. Have courage. I'm your reminder here to remind you how strong and brave and courageous you are. Yin moon. Accept help. Holy cow. Moonlight. Enchanted. Meaning, once this is out, this is clear, this is done, you will be move on to something that's going to be so much better. I'm going to look one more. Moon circles. You have support, Sag. You have all of us here. You have your angels. You have your guides. You have God's source, whatever you believe in. Rallying around you. Okay? They're rallying around you. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much for guiding me in this reading. For beautiful Sagittarius, what is the final message you have? Oof. Not the message I like to give at all at the same time. You know, this is for your highest good. Is there a final message for Sagittarius? Oh. Moon magic. Transformation, Sag. You're going through a big transformative time. You will get to the other side and look, you are protected. There's two, there's a dog on either side protecting you, guiding you, leading you to something so much better. Okay. And then we have the moon called on the bottom. Sag, it may not feel like it at all, but it was meant to be. It is meant to be. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than this, my love. All right. Okay, Sag, this is where we're going to leave it. We do have the support card again. This is where we're going to leave your reading. <sighs> I really hope that this helped. <laughs> um, again, you're not alone, and you're going to get through this. We'll do it all together, okay? You're going to get to the other side. All right, Saggy, I'm going to send you the biggest, big, 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 big hugs. Take a deep breath. Remember your power. Remember your strength. And make a plan. All right, Saggy. Mm -hmm. Big kisses. All my love to you. Stay strong and take good care of yourself, okay? All right, Saggy. Maybe we'll see you in April, all right? All my love to you.